name is Jack. I, I do a little amateur gunsmithing. I have never really went to school for it, but I just seem to have a knack. I did 30 years of auto body repair. So I'm used to dealing with things that you got to just try to fix it on the wing. But also, if you go to YouTube, you can find most anything. So what I've acquired over the, the years is you need the proper tools. <clears throat> First thing you would need to get is a decent screwdriver set. This is the Wheeler set, they're what they call hollow ground, and they fit the screw perfectly. But there's nothing like working on a somebody's gun and the screwdriver slips and you burr the screw head. That's definite no-no. <clears throat> then we have here, we have our your brass punches. We have our roll pin removers and Plastic hammer, brass hammer, never know when it's going to come in handy. If you're going to be mounting scopes for people, I would recommend you have a a bore, a laser bore sighter because you can't, if you have a lever action or some of these other automatics, semi-automatics, you can't just sight on the barrel. Also, if we're doing scopes, I've got the complete kit of Wheeler. <clears throat> Make sure your lings are aligned. You have these with the point. You put one on each side and the points better line up. <clears throat> now if you're doing rings that have dovetail, if you're putting in dovetail rings, you definitely need those. Otherwise, you're not going to get it perfect. Also, good micrometer is a good thing to have. You never know when you might need it. Also, a good set of files. I've got these. Got all the little ones. They make up a couple other hand files. I've got the emery paper. I do a lot of rebluing and uh, rifle stock refinishing. So I have all the equipment for doing that. Takes time. And patience so that's what I have on uh, on hand what I can do I have a website it's ka4bix.com I'll be posting all these videos up there so if you're interested in having any work done feel free to contact me well, today we're going to try to mount a scope the right way <clears throat> first put it in your vice Make sure you have the scope level. First we're going to level the rifle. Then we'll level it that way. Then we'll level it this way. And then we'll put this on the end of the barrel. And adjust that so that shows level. So that we, when you take the rest of them off, you can still find your level position. Okay, now that everything's all level, now we'll, we can install our Picatinny rail. And it's always recommended that you use this as a thread locker. And this one here is Vibratite. It never hardens up. It can be removed. And screws can be reused again. Check this. And as you can see, that is still level. Yeah, for this scope, we're going to be using a nice set of Wheeler one inch high scope rings. So we got a big fat 50 millimeter lens here. So that's going to sit like that. So take these, loose knees up, and set this on your scope. Let's see where it sets up. Make sure you got room that you work and then tighten these up on the other side while pushing forward And we 
do these 10 inch pounds. doing any serious scope mounting for people that are really fussy and want to shoot for extended ranges you're going to want to have these bars here because you can put them in there and make sure that the rings are t properly aligned and that the points meet up and you also have the ability if needed you have these bars here that you can lap the rings just like you would lap a valve into the cylinder you can lap the rings so they get a perfect fit all the way around. So, these new rings, they usually just line up no problem. As you can see, it lines up with no problem whatsoever. The point to point. You can't get any more, more better than that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loosely mount our scope. check how level it is. Now we're going to check and make sure the scope is level. Turn the camera off so I can check my eye relief. This is, I need to take it out of the vise, hold it, and get if I can get centered on the reticle. Okay. Now that I took it out of the gun vise, held it up to my shoulder, check the eye relief, which means moving this back and forward till you get a full vision. And now that I've got that, I've re-leveled everything. That's why we have the piece on the front, so we can get it back to level. Now we'll put some Loctite on the screws. Don't need a whole lot. Okay. So, that's it. We have successfully mounted the scope to the rifle. Now the next thing we can do, and I'll show that a little bit later. Okay. Now that we got our scope mounted in the proper position, and as you can see, the bubble is in the center and the scope is level and the rifle is level so everything is good front to back everything turned out the way it's supposed to now if this is a bolt action we could just take the bolt out and we could set it and we could look down the barrel and look at the target and we could actually bore sight the rifle that way <clears throat> but since this is a lever action 
and it doesn't have a bolt that comes out, what we're going to do is we're going to have to do a laser bore sighting. And for that, we have this little kit here. Of course, not everybody has one, but... And as you can see, it goes all the way up to a 7 cal, 70... to a 7.41, which is pretty big, so... You have your laser bore sighter, you pick the the bore sighter tool, you pick the, uh, the proper head for it that will fit in the barrel. And what we do is we put it in the barrel, put that tight, put it all the way snug, and then we turn it until it gets tight. Now that's in there nice and tight. And there you have your laser. Now this is too short of a distance to really adjust anything, so we're going to have to set up a target down the hallway, and we'll mount put the put the rifle over here on the table, and then we'll bore laser bore sight it. And we'll do that next. We got a rifle there, and as you can see, down range. Let me get the zoom. I don't know where it is. Down range, you see we have a target set up. You can see the laser there. Now if we put the camera to here. Come on there. Everything's backwards. You can see where we are. So we're almost dead, dead level height-wise, and we're a little bit to the left. Now we've made some adjustments, and hopefully if I can get this so we think it's set there right. Now you can see the crosshairs are right dead center. So. We will leave it like that. And so when you go to the range, it shouldn't take but a shot or two to get it right dead on. <laughs> 